made in the history books. Size to stay out of the way and hit. And not get hit. Herrera banging Tapia with... Now you go right on top of that jab with that right hand by Tapia. Tapia is going right at Herrera, challenging him. As Johnny is the best boxer in the world. It's as simple as that. In the face, it hurts your back after a while. Tapia has got to make certain that he doesn't get caught with too many of those jabs. Tapia has been caught with a lot of jabs and a couple right hands here in the first round. He's uh, a way, a far away from him. Uh, real close. You can't be cautious of the night. Throw it out, but get it back. You may notice that on the back of Barrera's so OS, it's actually 505, which is the area code for his hometown Albuquerque. Johnny Tapia starts to get into it with a body attack. Tapia brings his crowd to life with a late rally in the second. Went way down also, 20 out of 69. But in one round. And there's a big left jab, just busting Tapia. You know, I found my... Yeah. And there's a body no, 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 shot. No, 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 no. And Tapia I know it says it was a low blow. Keeps him too far out there. Uh, and there's the first of Barrera's classic levels, his defining weapon. He's added so much to the arsenal in the recent years that we don't focus on it that much anymore. And he's still one of the better left hooker. You gotta fight him. attack and Barrera just watches to see what you just about it you can't try to box this big tall guy with a good left jab you gotta fight among all the questionable things governing Johnny Tapia for fighting a fighter the quality of Marco Antonio Barrera has to be one of the most questionable this is a great fight for fans good Barrera has become exceedingly patient here in the fourth and he bangs Tapia back with a right hand winning all the rounds you better come at me sooner or later and then it just shows how much they're showing us now that he can fight while he's moving backwards. And he's hot shot ripping the body when he comes in close. Waited through his long career, 56 fights before tonight, before getting this first seven-figure paycheck. For a long time, it looked as though this first big paycheck would come. When Tapia came back and said to us, I think she agreed it was a good idea. She... But right now, as we approach the midway point, I'm going to go out, Jeff. He doesn't have that. Well, he's never faced oh, he a corner like corner. Barrera. He ne doesn't have a corner to kind of remind him of certain situations. Johnny Tapia. Right to the body. Left, right, left. Keep it up. Almost as though he hurt you, George. Tapia, as finally he decides to just make it a war and lands up the cuts against Barrera. And pays for it right there, but comes back. Can do some damage here. This is what I was talking about. Tell us about his gym. He's his own rally monkey. Tapia seems to have taken Barrera off guard a little bit here. Now Barrera starts to come out of his shell. Tapia goes down. Hey, matey, who uh, Had that been the case, the change in the scoring would have been enough to give Barrera when you can go on top of your Tapia. Make him protect his body. Barrera trying to get back into his jab rhythm. Tapia driving forward. Tapia, and Tapia having a continuing conversation. Barrera lands an uppercut. Tapia is a lot punishment on the inside. Harold Letterman, uh, the sixth round, appeared to be done. Tapia beat him up on the ropes. And you heard Rudy Perez in Barrera's corner saying, get off the ropes. You've got to fight him in the center of the ring. Hard right hand by Tapia. Hard right hand by Barrera. 
what we've seen in Las Vegas recently has been so magnificent in some instances. Before that one. <laughs> Even the jab works better for Barrera when Tapia's on the right side. Reach and everything disappears when you're on the rope. You tell a fighter not to drop his hands, but Tapia does his hand. He gets a little closer and he makes his opponent panic. Short left hand inside by Barrera. Stop Tapia in his tracks. Tapia lands a right hand across left when he throws his jab. It's so it. he sort of throws it across his back. Johnny's looking brave here, but he's not landing. And he now Barrera is getting in the left hook occasionally. That's better. Make a guy afraid to go. He need greater variety in his game, particularly a longer jab. And he transformed himself with wilt or would back off in some way what to do to discourage him. That's what he's got to do. Get those combinations in on, on his own. Now they're back in the center of the ring where Barrera has been totally dominant through most of the evening. The crowd rising from their seats. Trying... Series of lands by Barrera. Tapia has to come right back. Stop punching in round eight. But then again in the ninth, I thought he did. He got inside and landed enough solid shots probably to pull it out. Six. Whoa! Hard right hand shot by Barrera. Tapia tries to play possum, then come back. That's a hard right hand on the stars fighting and punching. Left hook to the body, sets up a right hand upstairs for playing the boxer anymore. I think he's making more of a show of fighting than actually fighting, George. He's doing a few throws like that, but he's still been even close to stop. Doesn't matter what a guy can knock down or not. You can punch, you can knock him out. Tapia's glove touched the canvas. Dave Nady either didn't see it or just a bit short of the canvas, and that would justify Nady's decision. Right side, he hasn't tried to finish this man off. <laughs> they are not related, of course. Now Barrera is doing it. That's becoming target practice. Yeah, right. that's what he should have been doing. Don't. I think Barrera just got into the ninth round to Tapia. He said, what? Nice quick right here. Happy a reaching. Well, somebody's been landing those shots on him. Boy, he double up on the left hook. That's what Barrera did. He did it again. I thought maybe he got laced or, or thumbed in the eye. That was what he was complaining about. Meanwhile, you can't Barrera was going to work. Barrera not fighting like he has to win the last round. All he has to do is go for the finish. He waves his glove in the air to bring his crowd back into it, and they respond. Here's the last hurrah for Johnny Tapia. One more violent flurry. And there, as we get to the last 20 seconds, and Barrera still a boxing exhibition tonight for the man Johnny Tapia called the king of the featherweights. Marco Antonio Barrera of Mexico City plays down the stretch with Johnny Tapia, sealing what was apparently... Chuck Giampa scores it. 116 to 112. Bill Graham has it. 118 to 110. And Dave Moretti scores it. 118 to 110. All for the winner by unanimous decision, and still the people's champion, the baby face assassin, the Ciudad de Mexico, Marco Antonio.